How much money can we get selling our old junk? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We visit sites like eBay and Craigslist a lot on this show. We love those sites. But usually we're the ones doing the buying. Yeah. Today, we're doing the selling. That's right. You ever see something strange on Craigslist and think, who is the weirdo selling that? Well, today, we're the weirdos. Yes, the Mythical Crew has done some aggressive spring cleaning. They love gathered it. a unique assortment of old props, decorations, gizmos, some beautiful, some terrifying, but all were on this show or part of this show at one point. Mm -hmm. And they were all put up for sale online. And if you're wondering who would buy our weird stuff, well, so are we. It's time for, they say that one person's junk is another person's treasure. So how much would you pay us for Chase's tape measure? We wanted to see what kind of money we could get for some of the stranger items that were created for this show. And it turns out the answer is very little money. Mm. Uh, almost yeah. nobody wanted our weird junk. Uh, we tried selling dozens of our props on different sites and apps for months. Yeah, months. Long process. And we got almost zero interest until we started offering them up for free. And then the action picked up a little bit. Yeah, now, you might be saying, well, if you were selling mythical stuff out there on Craigslist for next to nothing, why didn't you let us know? Well, that would ruin the whole game. Yeah. Because we, we, we didn't mention that these were mythical items. We just wanted them to, you know, stand on their own merit. We just described them for what they actually were and offered them up for sale. Because that, yeah, that was the curiosity. Yeah. That's where the fun comes in. So here's how the game works, okay? The medical crew filmed the interactions they had with most of the buyers during the handoff, mm -hmm. or the, I guess the takers if they, <laughs> if they didn't pay anything. And every transaction was a little has a little story to go along with it. And if we can guess the correct answer to some trivia questions accompanying those stories, we'll win a point. Okay, and of all the items that we posted online, we were able to sell, I'm told, two. Yes. A whopping two things yes. for cash. So in each round, we're gonna guess that the item in question was one of those two that was sold uh, instead of giving away. And if we think so, we'll just yell, sold! Sold! But we can only, does, that only happened twice. Okay, you can um, only guess it twice. And we can only guess it twice, so we need to choose wisely. You can only say sold, sold. the two times. If we get that right, we get two points. And the winner of this whole thing will receive an item that we couldn't give away for free. <laughs> okay, great, I am so excited. Okay, I'm sure you guys remember when you won this golden toilet after your queen sweep in the ranking weird yes. bathroom habits a, episode. It's beautiful. To I be about, sure. I was like, man, Somebody I would love this in my house. A golden toilet. I was like, Elvis would want this. Yes. Well, we put it up on Craigslist for Elvis, and we were sure to specify that it was A, unused, and B, not real gold, as you can see. Do you think this item was sold or given away for free? Man, I, don't, I, I wanna say sold. I don't know how I wanna start off with it. I know, because somebody be thinking, well, this is a functional toilet. I could scrape off the gold paint and then I've just got a toilet again. <laughs> That's too much work. Okay, I, I guess I'm gonna say- Sold! I'm gonna say it wasn't sold. I think it was sold. I mean, it's still a toilet and it- Okay, you're using a sold. Yeah. It was. Given away for free. <laughs> Let's see how the first part of that transaction went when the buyer showed up to take it off Mad Dog Lucas's hands. Who could this be? Yeah. Oh, That's, he's, uh, he's it's touching. It's like a regular toilet. Regular. It's a regular toilet, but, but it's gold. But it's gold. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you guys want to do with it? Uh, this is a homeless health center. Oh, okay. Homeless Good health. Uh, and the idea of the company is keeping the streets clean. Okay. Nice. And uh, this will be kind of like a trophy to those that... It's a trophy. Are, it's a prize. We made, it was a trophy for us, too. Hey, yeah. 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 That's what happened. Just for... You're not going to want it for long. Soon. Can I ask you how much you would have paid for this? Uh, Oh, okay, well, uh, now that Okay, I'm so that's the question. It. How much did Rick say he would have been willing to pay for the golden toilet? You gotta think about there's social pressure here. Yeah. You know he's what I'm saying? Filmed. He's not gonna say nothing. Well, he might say nothing. Because he's also thinking, hold on, are they gonna all of a sudden make me pay? Which isn't good form. List something is free, and once you really get them interested, it's the old bait and switch. Yeah. Oh, same answer. Oh, wh why are you looking at my answer? Twenty-five. We both said twenty-five dollars. Yeah, it's either twenty-five or fifty. You get those are the numbers that you go to. You know, I almost went fifty because of the peer pressure thing, but twenty-five. 
Let's see. We were looking at a thousand dollars. Really? These guys, these guys will pay like two, three thousand dollars maybe. Wow. For something, something. I was looking for a toaster oh. and I saw the, the, the toilet and I was like, yeah, I can toast bread right what? now. What? You can. <laughs> right. Right Is there. he joking? Is he being serious? Two to three thousand dollars, Lucas. You, it, that was your moment, man. Yeah, I, that, that toilet was ninety bucks. Once he knew we didn't have to pay anything, I think he was just giving us lip service. We so that now we would yes. be. Man, we learned a little. I guess bit. timing is everything. He knew that you were playing this multiple choice game. I'm gonna say a thousand dollars. Throw them um, all. All right. If you recall, the presidential desk close. Cloche yeah. was featured in our most recent Weirdest Foods Eaten by Presidents episode. That thing is awesome. That's, That's nice, beautiful. man. But no one else has any use for it, apparently. No, I, I, a kid who wants to be president, like a baby that wants to be president. Ain't nobody searching anything for this because... Lots of people think their babies are going to be president. They're almost all wrong. Well, we tried to sell it in the Craigslist ad. We said, make any room the Oval Office with this miniature desk. That's this good. piece is made of foam core and comes with a bell on top. Would also be perfect for a cat with serious business. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we should have done. Modify. I, I think this is such a unique item. And people are already searching for uh, furniture and desks that this popped up. The algorithm served this one up more. So I'm gonna say sold. We, I think you sold this one. Oh, okay. I like. I'm gonna use a sold. I like you going for I'm a sold. I'm unleashing a sold. Wait. Well, I, no, I'm not. I can't make that mistake twice in a row. It was sold. Yes. <laughs> okay. For a bonus point, can you guess how much it sold for? Okay. How much did we sell this for? Oh, okay. Willing to negotiate. All right. I said twenty dollars. <laughs> I said twenty dollars. Oh. Man, we on the same page today. Uh, it sold for eight dollars, and oh, you yeah. both guessed the same thing, so $8. zero points. Eight dollars. Eight that. Okay. Um, here's how the first part of the exchange between the buyer Chase and Mad Dog Lucas went. I think this is him. Hey, are you Nick? I am. I have a, a resolute desk for you here, um, a mini size resolute desk. I think we agreed on about. Eight dollars matches a shirt. Presidents on them. There it is. Oh, yeah, that's presidents. Great. What's your uh, What's your good use for this? Okay, so that's your next question. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love this game. Why did he need this mini presidential desk? Was it A to decorate the cat cafe that he runs? B possible to decorate his daughter's American history themed bedroom. <laughs> C to use as a computer stand. Or D, he just needed the bell and plans to trash the rest. Huh. Oh, man. $8 for a bell, though? That's not a good business move. I don't see any cat hair on his shirt. Does he look like he has a daughter who's interested in American history? Okay. All right. Computer stand. Yeah, it's got to be a computer stand because... It's nice to get that thing elevated. In L.A., uh, people of that age don't have children. Uh, he doesn't have cat hair on him, and the bell mm. doesn't make any sense. It's just process of elimination. Let's see. I'm gonna give it to my daughter. Okay. Um, we wanna do um, an American history type themed room for her. Yeah, maybe maybe she goes up to be president. Uh, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. You must be from out of town. I mean, that desk is so cool. Uh, is that I, not so I mean, cool? I wanna be his she, daughter. If she I mean, becomes yeah. president, we, I mean, we should at least get an invitation to yeah, the yeah, old yeah. office. Yeah. Uh -huh. If not, take full credit and like be the, we could be the, we could be the puppet masters behind the strings. She's definitely significantly closer to becoming president. If you have a presidential desk in your room as a kid. Yeah, that's cool. I wanna, I wanna see that bedroom as it comes together. Okay, I'm sure you'll recognize this putting green and loop-de-loop -loop from our pick and putt mini golf game. Um, in the Craigslist listing, we were sure to mention it works well, very fine craftsmanship. Either Hold on, it says it backyard putt-putt obstacles, but that's just like a backyard putt-putt green. Well, no, but it comes with the thing. It has little mini images down there of each one of the things. That somebody will want this, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's, Don't you like the idea of having a putt-putt course in your, at your, in your backyard? I do have one. In or indoor backyard. space. Uh, that's right, you do. <laughs> I have a putting green. I turned my, own, my little bit of my yard that I had into an artificial putting green. And Barbara just craps all over. Yeah, it's a it's a, yeah, it's where Barbara poops and I putt. It's called the poop and putt. 
<laughs> do you just put the poop? If you use a perfectly round one, yes. And how often does that happen? So far, once. Very fine craftsmanship. I would think somebody would pay for this. Hold on, we did. This is a lie. I designed these myself and installed them in my backyard, but no one plays on them anymore? That's you, a lie. You gotta create a story. <laughs> this was not sold. Even though I would have thought so, I just think that something about that story, Lucas's story, which wasn't compelling enough. <laughs> uh, you know what? I mean, you, you're proof. I'm saying sold. People it was given away for free. <laughs> You've used all your solds, bro. Yeah. You can't let's, even uh, guess anymore. <laughs> let's see how the cash-free handoff went between the buyer and Chase. Okay, so we got a guy in a Close Honda up. Accord trying to pick up this putt-putt stuff. Oh, how's he gonna so get that So let's see if cord? we can fit it in his car. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, I'm Chase. So um, why do you want the, the putt-putt course? Uh, me and my kids actually play. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Nice, how old are your kids? 14 and 9. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. We age. built it for a game. Um, Everybody's got a, a few hole. times. We made a couple different obstacles and stuff too. All right. Should we try to try to get this thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's bigger than the car. Let's see what we can do. Figure it out. You know. Strap it to the roof. It's not Chase. gonna fit, guys. Oh, they're gonna pause it though. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. So there's another question. How how did it end? So a the buyer returned the next day with a U-Haul. B, the buyer took it home in one piece at a time, making several trips. C, the buyer acted like he was getting a phone call, got into his car, and drove away. D, the buyer left with a piece in the back seat, a piece sticking out of the trunk, and the loop-de-loop -loop tied to the roof. Wow. Oh, my god. First thing I thought, I said it, tying stuff to the roof. Okay. What did you say? I think he did piece of a piece at a time. That's what I said. I said three trips because he he really seemed like he was set on getting it for the kids and was committed. But I, I think, think that's he's the only he's way he's he can local. Do it. Let's see. All right, so it looks like he came back it's day two. Hey, dude. Oh, dude. You really wanted this thing getting a U-Haul. Did you tell your kids, or is it a surprise? Oh, he got a freaking. That's awesome. Yeah. Want me to help you lift this in? Yeah, we can get it all going. Yeah. So he was willing to invest money, but just not. Not with us. He paid twenty. He paid twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's for the pleasure. Year. I'm hoping that your kids get a lot of good, good play. Oh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully, he went and picked something else up. Make use of that YouTube call. <laughs> uh, for real, man. I would. You know, people are willing to invest money, but it's uh, well. Golf is an expensive sport, man. You got to be willing to invest. Hey, you may have noticed this shirt. Tomorrow is Earth Day, and we want to take a moment and address a very important issue. And that's caring for the environment. Every day, the two of us, everybody at Mythical, we do our best to conserve energy, reduce our carbon footprint at work and in our daily lives. And hey, if we all work together, we can make it a more mythical world. Yes, and in honor of that goal, this year we worked up an all new tea design and a matching reusable bag that packs down into a handy little Check square out. whenever you're done using it. And the best part is a portion of the proceeds will go to the amazing 350.org charity, one of our favorite organizations working uh, to combat climate change. Buy the set for a great cause now at mythical.com. Yeah. It, Look at that, it matches your shirt. It collapses, which is awesome. All right, mythical.com. I'll, uh, you know, I'll do that later. All right, let's see the next item we listed, the zombie baby doll ha, from our look, Try Not I did to it. Scream episode. Zombie baby, I'm watching. In our ad, our description was pretty on point. It says, delightfully creepy baby doll holding a sprig of faux mistletoe has lots of uses, willing to negotiate. <laughs> I we, actually think this is a great ad for this one. I think you really did great on this one. Has lots of uses, being the, you know. Because Thanks, Rhett. This is the thing. When we did that game back in the day, you remember we used to do the thing where I would put the suit on and Stevie would be up here and we'd do the Price is Right thing with Link and we yeah. did like eBay stuff. Remember those days? Back when we used to also putt-putt. <laughs> uh, and people would buy this crap. People oh. would buy this creepy crap. In this town especially, Halloween is a huge thing in LA. Year Halloween around. displays. I think this was sold. So I'm, I'm using my, my last sold on this when I think it was sold. And so Link doesn't have a. I got sold. nothing to say. Do you think it was sold? Just I mean, you, it doesn't count, but just do you think it was? Uh, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was sold. Yeah. Uh, how much do you think we sold it for? Uh, is this the? Is this the question? 
This is a question, yes. Eight dollars. I, I said ten. I said ten. Oh, I reduced it. And to you eight. reduced it. So we initially asked for twenty-five dollars, but after some negotiation, we landed at ten dollars. Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> should have gone with my gut. Um, so have. the person who bought the doll was a little camera shy. In place of a clip, please enjoy a dramatic reenactment oh. of the actual email sent from the buyer to Mad Doc Lucas leading up to the sale, which has some key pieces of information censored out. Listen carefully. This has never been done before. Yeah, I'd like to buy your baby doll with mistletoe for $10. I live in Burbank, so let me know when I can come pick this up. Uh, I'm using this for my fourth year. Everyone loves my They're delicious and uh, I make some of the stuff by hand. Most of it I buy, um, and I'm very serious about this offer. What is it? Was he cursing, or was he just describing things that we don't well, even know about? Well, so the next question is, that's what Trevor, was by the, the way. reason? Okay. That's Trevor. I no, know. no, that's, that's definitely no. Trevor. That's Trevor. You cannot tell who that is. Trevor better never enter witness protection because I'll be able to spot that profile anywhere. All right. It's definitely Trevor. <laughs> so. Why did the buyer want the doll? That That's the part that was censored uh, out. There are no multiple choices for this one. I didn't understand anything he was saying. So I, I'm assuming you're saying haunted house. I'm saying home haunted house because that's a, that's a big thing here. So I'm trying to come up with LA something area. different that's just more strange with, with baby dolls. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna be more specific and say that it's a creepy baby doll cemetery. Uh, you know those. Let's see. Yeah, I'd like to buy your baby doll with mistletoe for ten dollars. I live in Burbank, so let me know when I can come pick this up. Uh, I'm using this for my haunted house for Halloween this year, fourth year. Everyone loves my haunted houses. They're deliciously frightening. Uh, I make some of the stuff by hand. Most of it I buy, um, and I'm very serious about this offer. Was that exactly what the email said? Or yeah. Was, was it uh, deliciously frightening? That was a that was like a back and forth that we condensed into one monologue. Okay, so it was a little dramatic. Okay. okay. Well, crap. Wow. So you were right. I should man. go on Craigslist more often. Yeah. I guess I don't know. Okay, our final hmm. listing is this set of empty custom-made pop tart boxes from Willet Pop Tart. Yes. That's some good looking work there, Twinkie Fingal. Fingal. Frosted, <laughs> frosted lobster roll, yeah. avocado toast, pepto, cicada. Yeah. We, we actually, we mentioned all five fake flavors in the Craigslist listing. Frosted cicada, pepto, bismol, lobster roll, Pepsi, and avocado toast. Great for a gag gift or to prank your kids with. That it actually is the kind of thing that would be a great thing to put into the, the cupboard, you know, for the kids. What's our lobster roll? Fake Pop tart doing Pop-tart in here, Daddy. Boxes. Uh, now no, boxes only. We know nobody bought this because exactly. we've, we've used the two sold. Which yeah. is a shame. So your question is, why did this person who took these fake Pop Tart boxes want them? A, they work for Kellogg's and thought it would be fun to have them in their office. B, be awesome. they recognized them from Good Mythical Morning. C. They are a third grade teacher who wanted to use them as funky tissue boxes in their classroom. That would be cool too. Or D, they didn't read the full post and thought these were real Pop Tarts being given away. Yep, right. Could have happened. All these equally likely. Mm. I'm going for the queen sweep here though. Okay. I mean, t- not really. I did get some wrong, but you know. We'll just call it the queen shutout. Oh. Uh, okay. What'd you say? I went with B for the boring answer. No, I, I think it's the third grade teacher, Funky Tissue Boxes. Let's see. Hello, Hi. I'm Lucas. School teacher. I'm uh, dropping off some, some Pop-Tarts boxes to you. Sweet. Great, yeah, wonderful. Um, can I ask why you want them? Uh, I mean, I, I recognize them. You recognize <laughs> them? I was like, well, that's a cool episode. That was, yeah, I, put in my there you go. Room. Bet him money on that in the car, so now he owes me money about that. Sorry. There we go. Some mythical Beast house. in the wild. Oh, man. That was Mythical Beast Kendall. So Kendall. Kendall. Got it anyway. Man. See, because I was starting to think 
that the thing that we learned was that all the stuff we do here is just useless. But context is everything. Right, uh-huh. It's not useless, Link. Kendall now has some fake Pop-Tart boxes. To decorate her house. Yes, yeah, right, making the world a better place. Well, congratulations, Rhett. You get to pick whatever you want. What Actually, do you want? Actually, I think we picked something out for you. Oh, I get, yes, you know what? I was gonna ask about this anyway, because I wanna put that out there on my poop and putt course. <laughs> so Shepard could, can putt right through the legs. And remember, butthole included. Right there. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. <laughs> I'm Taylor. I'm Cody. I'm Amy. <laughs> and I'm Marshall. And we're celebrating my birthday by playing mythical games in Ontario, Canada. And it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Happy birthday. Click the top link to watch us guess the words missing from crazy thrift store items and get mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. On Earth Day and every day, let's do our part in making it a more mythical world. Start by spreading the word with this limited edition tea and reusable bag available now at mythical.com.